when you look in the Bible and you will see that it says that the lot is cast into the lap, but it's every decision is from the Lord. We're not quite sure what lots were, but we know it was the ancient form of some sort of dice, things that they used to seem random. The Bible says that those things are determined by God. Now, there's only two ways to understand that, two ways. You can believe that when you throw the dice down the table, God casts a magic spell, and he needs it to come up a certain way so that that verse can be true. And so he casts a magic spell midair, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and so every decision of the dice is from God. And so, yay, the Bible gets to be true. Which is a ridiculous way of understanding that, of course. The only other way to understand that verse, if that verse is always to be true, that the lot is cast into the lap, everything that seems random to us is from the Lord. The only possible way to understand that is if all the foundational things I've laid out including the fact that God is in control of all things, is true. Every step along the way, how hard you throw the dice, the air conditions, how they bounce, what they hit, and that's just one example of randomness dice. Take every other example that you look around and you see as appearing to be random. The Bible says that all of that, the decision is from the Lord. Okay? So you can take a semi-deistic view that God is constantly zapping magic spells around so that all the randomness can be his choice so that the Bible can be true. Or you can understand that he is just in control of all things from the start. And so that the things that appear random to us are in fact all under his control because everything that leads up to and involves and determines those things is under his control, okay? When you walk into a casino and you press a button on that slot machine, you're not casting a magic spell. You're not summoning the, the powers of luck from, from the far reaches of the universe to come and do your bidding. There's a computer in there that takes the closest millisecond on the, from the clock and uses a seed generator, and, and it does its best to seem random. But it is not random, because there is no such thing as random. No Christian should ever believe in indeterminism, randomness. And so the idea of luck, it's like a filler that you inject into all the areas that you don't fully understand, because there's no such thing as randomness. And that's what free will is. Free will is a filler. It is a concept that you use to inject into all the areas that you do not fully understand when it comes to you making choices. 